I'm excited because I've been dying to ride my bike and um, I haven't really ridden my bike much since my car accident and the lights, yeah, there you go. So I haven't really ridden my bike much since uh, my car accident because my wrist has been all screwed up, but I've been messing around in the parking lot a little bit. Um, a lot of you guys might know, but I'm, I used to be like an avid BMX rider, but whatever. And uh, since my car accident, my wrist has been messed up and I haven't been able to ride. And today, I think we can get a few tricks done. I've been playing around in the parking lot and I, it's been starting to feel better. It still hurts a lot, but I think I could still ride. So, new park by DJ's house. We're going to go ride it and then hang out on Mike G's shop. And he said he has some FD parts for me laying around from his old build. So, I'm super excited to see what he's got. So, uh, at the shop now to grab my bike. And then we're going to head down to DJ's and get ready. I officially made it down to Mike G's scrapyard, <laughs> aka his shop, and uh, the remnants of the R32 is just chilling outside. Now they're not here yet. They literally live like a rock throw away. So, well, Donald just showed up. How you doing, Donald? What up? How are you doing? What do you think about the seats? Are these R32 seats? R34, boy. <laughs> Oh my god. You know why you guys? <laughs> no, it's just so funny. DJ put R34 Skyline seats in his 240. That's such a DJ I move. Like them. Like the no, they look dumb comfy. Like... That's so funny. Alright, DJ's getting Mike G's <laughs> old ass bike ready. <laughs> DJ has a new skate park by his house and he says it's uh it's cool. I don't know if it is or not. But uh putting the peg on? We're ready to go. <laughs> Alright, this is my first time at a skate park in yeah. since December. Yeah, before my accident. So kind of nervous. We're out here though. Tricks are scary, <laughs> just so it's gonna get more hurt. And I gotta like pick what tricks I'm doing so I don't actually like hurt myself. But um, it feels good to be on the bike. I definitely am out of shape. <laughs> We're out here trying to relearn some stuff. <laughs> Nice. Hey. Come on. You always should. Let's try to drop driver. See if we can still do this. Close. Nice. Well, I landed it, but that hurt really bad, so I'm probably not gonna do it truck drivers for a long time. <laughs> but it's okay. The one last trick I wanna try to see if I can do today is the tail lift. Uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna try the tail lift and see if that's a possibility still. There it is. We got it though. That one didn't hurt that bad. That hurt way less than the, the truck driver. All right, so my first time at a park since the accident, it was actually a pretty success. I was able to do a lot more than I thought I could, so I'm pretty happy about it. Um, there's still a lot of tricks that still really hurt really bad just because my wrist is, you know, messed up, but DJ needs to get a bike so we can ride. He, like, refuses to ride Mike G's junk bike, so. Look at it. <laughs> so, next time we'll be out here, hopefully we'll have the whole gang. It'll be a lot more enticing because, uh, going to a park by yourself is never that fun. It's always, it's always way more fun with a group of friends, so, uh, hopefully we'll be out here soon and everyone will be on bikes and we'll have a good time, so. But today, I consider that a quick success. All right, so if anyone's wondering, this is in what? East Haven? East Haven. East Haven, Connecticut. Uh, this is my first time here. They just built it a couple weeks ago, which is pretty sick. So, uh, yeah, if you're wondering. So we're about to head on back to Mike's shop. Uh, he wants to play with his S14 today, which I don't even know if you guys knew he had, which I always forget that he has too. So uh, let's go down. All right, we're back at Mike G's shop. Messy as always. We are here. The dark cave of the shop, as I always say. So Mike, what's the project for today? More cleaning. Get this place ready so we can get the Sylvia out and get it ready for paint. Okay, After so this thing has been sitting under a bunch of parts. A lot of you guys probably even realize it in the video. You want to explain some what this is? It is a 95 Sylvia case. It's got a molded Origin Y body on it, overs, um, Origin front fenders, and it's only got like 31,000 miles on it. It's spotless underneath. It is stripped, but it is spotless. Don't let it fool you. We got everything. So when Mike bought it, someone painted, painted it like monster green or like Kawasaki green, whatever you want to call it, which is Porsche green. Por what is it? Porsche GT3 green. Porsche GT3 green, but to me it looks, it was just, Mike thought it was the most obnoxious thing in the world, and it really was, but it was done well, which is unfortunate, but Mike had to take it apart. It was never even put back together, painted. Yeah, see that, dude? 
imagine the whole that's like some 2003 fast and furious color but if i kept it if i had it i definitely would have kept it threw a motor in hindsight in it i wish i did and kept it but mike this is when mike had an fd and a gtr so this was definitely on the back burner but i think so today i'm hoping we're gonna start touching this car finally so we're gonna pull some stuff out make some room for it and see what we got we're all every time i'm here we're always cleaning up whatever Mike G was able to find me some random FD parts in here, uh, some adjustable control arms, which is pretty sweet because, you know, this stuff does add up, so it's kind of nice to just get it. Hell yeah. So in the midst of cleaning, uh, Mike's landlord uses this place as like a storage for liquor distribution or whatever, and he has stuff everywhere, and he came in and said that he could throw away this whole shelf or the stuff, and it's literally just boxes of liquor displays, so uh, DJ's having way too much fun making a mess. You're clear. Oh. <laughs> it did not bounce like I thought it would. No, because it's all compact cardboard. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> you dove. All right, we got a bunch of these style boxes. And me and Donald have a great idea. We're going to make a card house. I like this. Example. Like a card house. Like a card house. <laughs> Boom. But like big. DJ brought some uh, reinforcement. It is windy, yeah. Alright, we're one away, but oh my god, it's about to collapse. It's really if, we, if I can get up there for a second, I'm going to be happy. <laughs> we need to get the top one. We need to get the top one. <laughs> oh, wow. Alright, let's get this done. Yes. Right. DJ, go stand next to it so they can really get a... The arms up, DJ. And <laughs> a masterpiece. This is the greatest thing I've ever created. <laughs> Mike, are you serious? You just destroyed a masterpiece. <laughs> Our poor masterpiece. Now we gotta clean it up. Now we gotta clean it up. Every time we're at Mike G's shop, he always Tom Sawyer's us in the cleaning it for him. I don't know how this happens. But, uh. Tom Sawyer! What are we doing, DJ? I guess he's putting rims and bins up there. Rims and bins and goddamn slams! He, he wants it. You already know. Yeah, so we're making room for the S14. Yeah. Uh, Hope you enjoy us cleaning. This is something like cleans of gasoline, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Found an airbag. What are you gonna do with the airbag, DJ? What's your thing? <laughs> so we got jumper cables, now we gotta do battery. Alright, we have it hooked up. DJ, show them with the light. Alright, kids, don't do this at home. Don't. DJ, you're gonna do the honors? <laughs> of course, he says. You're gonna blow that thing out. Shut. Woo! No! It hit your car. It hit your car. No! 
Where did it land? It hit his car. No, it did. fire shit right over there. No, it didn't. Right against the car. Oh my god. It went up and took branches down. Oh my. Dude, why is an airbag that loud? I told you it was gonna be brutal. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Alright guys, that went a lot higher than we thought it would. Don't do this around anything valuable. We're just making sure nothing hit TJ's car. DJ, how high do you think that went? At least 20, at least 20 feet. Because it took, like, oh, see that branch that snapped? <laughs> oh my god. It took that down, like, all these branches are like, it came down. That was definitely an unsafe like thing to do. Feet, like a solid Imagine that going off in your face. Oh my god. I did not know they were that loud. Why do you think I was so scared to film it? I've never seen one go off before, so I, 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 I didn't know what to expect. <laughs> Alright, we are making progress on getting this car out of here. We got the whole rear end up here on Mike's rear end table, I guess. Uh, still needs a diff. I guess he's taking it out of the skyline that's destroyed right there. So bad, dude. Why is it fucking... <laughs> With the ice cream. <laughs> well, the big project for today is uh, complete. We have pulled the S14 out of its hole and unburied it. We cleaned so much. It doesn't even look like it. We were supposed to clean out a spot for my car, but that's where all the junk went. So, fuck me. I mean, F me, right? Well. The S14 is clear. When are you going to start putting stuff back on it? Tomorrow. Yeah, right. When you come here and finish it up. All right, so now we have yet another a part car of Mike G's out and ready for building. So I will be here next week getting this engine bay prepped so we can spray that and get next it. Next week, tomorrow. Dude, drift event this weekend. Oh, but uh, of course, it got stuck cleaning Mike's garage again. But now we can actually work in here. That's all, folks. <laughs> Hi, Donald. Even though I can't see you. Hi, Jimmy. Hi, Mike G. What do you mean? Hey, Donald. We'll find you out tomorrow. Let's try a truck driver. See if we can still do this. Close. Oh. Nice. Well, I landed it, but that hurt really bad, so I'm probably not gonna do the truck drivers for a long time. <laughs> but it's okay. The one last trick I wanna try is if I can do today is tail lift. Uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna try some tail lift and see if that's a possibility still. There. Highline seats in his 240. That's such a DJ I like move. Them. They're like the no, they look dumb right comfy. Right? That's so funny. All right, DJ's getting Mike G's old ass bike ready. <laughs> DJ has a new skate park by his house, and he says it's uh, it's cool. I don't know if it is or not, but uh, putting the bag on. What? We're ready to go. All right, this is my first time at a skate park in yeah. since December. Yeah, before my accident. So, kind of nervous. We're out here though. Tricks are scary, it's just so it's good to get more hurt, and I gotta like pick what tricks I'm doing so I don't actually like hurt myself. But um, it feels good to be on the bike. I just am out of shape. <laughs> We're out here trying to relearn some stuff. <laughs> nice. Hey. laying around from his old build so I'm super excited to see what he's got so uh at the shop now to grab my bike and we're gonna head down to DJ's and get ready I officially made it down to Mike G's scrap yard <laughs> aka his shop and uh the remnants of the R32 is just chilling outside now they're not here yet they literally live like a rock throw away so well Donald just showed up how you doing Donald how are you doing what do you think about the seats are these are R32 seats R34 boy <laughs> Oh my god. You know why you guys? <laughs> no, it's just so funny. DJ put R34 Scott. I'm excited because I've been dying to ride my bike and um, I haven't really ridden my bike much since my car accident and the lights. Yeah, there you go. 
So I haven't really ridden my bike much since uh, my car accident because my wrist has been all screwed up. But I've been messing around in the parking lot a little bit. Um, a lot of you guys might know, but I'm I used to be like an avid BMX rider, but whatever. And uh, since my car accident, my wrist has been messed up, and I haven't been able to ride. And today, I think we can get a few tricks done. I've been playing around in the parking lot, and I it's been starting to feel better. It still hurts a lot, but I think I could still ride. So. New park by DJ's house. We're going to go ride it and then hang out on Mike G's shop. And he said he has some FD parts for me.